and we're back on the roof. So uh, just here doing a PM and come across this guy and she's squeaking. That belt looks pretty bad. So let's uh, get into it and see what's going on. So here we go. So we got the power kicked off. So it looks like we got a loose belt. Uh, so you think it'd be something easy like just adjusting the belt tension, but no, not in the world we live in. Look at that. Let's get in there. Yeah, so uh, the bearing is just completely gone. So we're gonna need a new bearing. Um, the sheave surprisingly seems to be okay. I mean the shaft looks okay but I'm gonna just I'm gonna change everything so we're gonna get a new shaft new bearings uh, front and back if we're gonna change one bearing you might as well do both of them um, and I don't know if the shaft is damaged so I'm gonna take this belt off and we'll see if we can take a look at it okay and I know I know I'm not supposed to roll the belts off but the belts gonna get replaced as well actually yeah, I think the shaft might be okay. It looks like the bearings actually protected the shelf or the shaft. So uh, yeah, we're gonna be right back once uh, we get all the stuff we need. So I'm back on this one. Uh, I'm gonna change the shaft and the bearings. Uh, I was gonna do the pulley, but they gave me the wrong, the wrong one. So we're gonna use the original one. I'm gonna come back later and, and swap that out. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we've removed the top panel and this side panel just so we have full access to everything um yeah so there's our somewhat good bearing so we're gonna go ahead and start by removing the belt removing the pulley um, getting the remnants of that uh, bearing out of there and then uh, trying to get the shaft out because we have to reuse the uh, blower wheel so we have to be careful First things first, we need to go ahead and loosen our set screws. So there's one here and one here. I believe it is a 532nd, which if you're using Wera, it's the yellow one. Yep. Okay, so let's get those loosened up. All right, so we're putting our pulley puller on here. And then I have this adapter here, so this is a three quarter. So we'll go ahead and use that. Got the set screw out it's right there so now we're going to go work on that other bearing on the other side and then hopefully i can just pull the shaft straight out hopefully all right so that shaft is going to be a total pain in the butt um so i'm going to take the whole housing out just so i have easier access i feel like that's going to be a lot easier so i'm going to start by taking the motor off then we'll pull this whole out whole thing out so there's a screw there and then a bunch of screws here same on the other side I already got the wire unhooked, so I'm going to pull it off of here. I'll make a mark so I know where it was set, and then, uh, yeah. All right, so I got the housing apart. I got the wheel out. Um, that shaft is really in there. Uh, well, since we got this thing all removed, I'm probably going to clean it too. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, I can't get this old bearing off, so... gonna have to pound it so I'm thinking I'm gonna chop the shaft off here as close as I can to the wheel and then just you know bang on it until I can get it out so we're definitely gonna put some more uh, lubricant on there and we'll go from there after a bunch of sawing hacking and oiling and all kinds of stuff I got the stupid thing off um, I went ahead and washed the I, I hosed it off real quick it's not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was, especially the wheel. So we're gonna go ahead and reassemble everything and then uh, we'll go ahead and install the new bearings, the new shaft, and then we'll put it back in place, put the motor and the pulley back on, and then go from there. So when doing this, it's very important that you put the wheel back in the correct direction. So you can see here, it's got an arrow. So that means it's gonna spin this way. So if we look at our scoops here, we can see that 
this way. So that's the direction we want it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put the top part back on and then we'll slide our shaft in. Okay, so we got it all put back together. Here's our new shaft. We can go ahead and slide those in there um, and then we'll put in our bearings. Okay, you can see here, this is the longer side. There's a flat part here and then there's a short flat. So this is the back side. This is the front side because we need that extra space for the pulley or sheave or whatever you call it. Okay, cool. So she's in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and crank this one down with a 1 8 Allen. You can see that this bearing is a little bit different uh, than the old one. I'm just assuming it's a newer, better version. Hopefully it lasts longer than the old one. Go ahead and get our other bearing in here. Okay. Cool. We shall go ahead and crank her down. Now we just need to align our wheel and then we're going to pop this back into the unit. Sweet. She's good to go. So now we just go ahead and stick her back in the unit and we'll get that pulley installed. So we got her all in place. I still got to get this, but I'm going to put a new belt on here. So I pretty much got this lined up. Basically, I use a straight edge just to make sure it's in line, and then I will just kind of check it out. And that looks pretty straight to me. I don't know how that looks to you, but that looks just about right to me. So we'll go ahead and put the belt on, see what that looks like. Okay, yeah, that's pretty straight. So now we're going to go ahead and adjust that. I did make a mark of where it used to be, but we may have to adjust that. So, that's about where it was. That seems pretty good. All right. Sweet. So we're going to go ahead and hook up the wires uh, and start getting the panels back on. So about 15 billion screws later, uh, we got all the panels back on. Everything's all put back together. I've reconnected the condenser fan motor. Uh, everything's ready to roll. So we're just going to go ahead and start up power. Um, make sure it spins the right way. Hopefully it does, because otherwise I'm going to take it all apart again. Um, and then uh, confirm everything's good. Alrighty. Seems to be okay. Definitely not speaking no more. Definitely going the right way. Sweet. I could probably tighten that belt a little bit more. I don't like how it's bouncing so much. So we'll go ahead and adjust that belt tension a little bit more. But other than that, we'll call her good. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so sometimes that's that's what PMs are for, is I came out here to swap some filters and check the unit and I found a uh, dead, um, what you gonna call it? Dead bearings. So anyway, um, this one was a much smaller one compared to that other one. I'll, I'll link the other one that I did. It was a big Voyager unit. Um, that one was a total pain. This one actually wasn't so bad. But uh, yeah, hopefully this helps you out if you come across one of these old guys. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment to little horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And if you like the tools that I'm using, uh, pick up a set for yourself on my Amazon store. Thanks for watching.